Okay, find the measure of an angle which is a complement of itself. So let the angle say A be equal to X. Now here they have said that the angle is a complement of itself which means the complement is also X. We'll call the complement as B. Now since the angles are complementary, we can say A plus B equal to 90. They're complementary. Complementary means total 90. So we have X plus X angle and the complement are equal, equal to 90. 2X equal to 90. X equal to 90 over 2. So X equal to 45. So the angle is 45 degrees and its complement is also 45 degrees. And the next sum is find the measure of an angle that is a supplement of itself. So say the angle A, angle A we take as X and its supplement B we also take as X because they said the angle and the supplement are equal. Now for supplementary angles, we'll have A plus B equal to 180, which means X plus X equal to 180. 2X equals 180, and you have X equals 180 over 2, that is X equals 90. So now the angle is 90 and its supplement also is equal which also will be 90. An angle is equal to 5 times its complement. Determine its measure. So here we have, this is the condition. The angle is 5 times, angle is 5 times its complement. So if we take our complement as x, here is a complement is X and the angle therefore will be, angle will be 5X. So if the complement is X, the angle will be 5X because it is given here. Angle is 5 times complement. Angle is 5 times the complement. Now the angle A the complement and the angle, if you add them up, we should get one, we should get 90. So angle and its complement will be 90. So we have x plus 5x equal to 90. We'll have 6x equal to 90. So we got 6x equal to 90, x equal to 90 by 6, so x equal to 16. Now remember, our x is a complement, so our complement, which is x and equal to 16, and the angle, we know our angle, we is 5x, so 5x, which means 5 into 16, and that would be, and that's not 16, but it is 5 into 15, and that would be 75. So our answers are, the angle is 75. Now in this sum, an angle is equal to one third of its supplement. So if the angle is taken as x, we know the supplement will be 180 minus x. Now the condition is, this angle is, they said one third its supplement. Here, yeah, one third its supplement. One third its supplement. So here that's a one third its supplement. The angle is one third its supplement. So the angle is X, which is equal to one third. And we know the supplement is 180 minus X. So angle 
is angle is one third the supplement. So x equals one third 180 minus x. So we have 3x equal to 180 minus x. 3x plus x equal to 180. 4x equal to 180. x equal to 180 over 4. So our x equal to 45. So the angle now is 45 degrees. Yeah, two supplementary angles, so that's important that they are supplementary, are in a ratio 4 is to 5. Which means one angle A will be 4x and the other angle B will be 5x. Let's take the next step. Now the angles are supplementary, which means A plus B equals 180. And we know A is 4x and B is 5x, which equals 180. 9x equals 180. x equals 180 over 9. So x equals now 20. That's when you reduce this, you get 20. Now our angles were A and our A was 4x. And our angle B was 5x, which means now it is 4 and we know our x is 20. And so the answer will be now 80, one angle. And in the next case, we have 5 and our x is 20. So here the angle will be 100. So the angles are 80 and 100. Now for the next one. An angle is 14 degrees more than its complementary angle. So here we will say if angle equal to x, we know its complement will be 90 minus x. Now the condition given to us is angle Angle is, is 14 more than its complement. So 14 plus its complement. So let's put the values now. We know our angle, this angle is x and equal to 14 more than the complement. The complement is this, 90 minus x. And we need to solve this. So we have here x equal to 14 plus 90 minus x. So x plus x equal to 14 plus 90. So if you see here x plus x is uh, uh, 2x which is 104. So we have our x comes as 52. So the angle, the angle is x and the angle will be 52 and its complement will be 90 minus 52 which is equal to 38.